Welcome into Old Mountain Bricks. Today we're taking a look at the May 4th promos from 2024, starting with the Trade Federation Troop Carrier, set number 40686, containing 262 pieces. It was released as part of the 25th anniversary of The Phantom Menace and LEGO Star Wars, and it's based on an original set from 2001, which is actually pretty similar to that, kind of similar build style and everything. So what we're going to do today, we're going to take a look at it, open it up, build it on a time-lapse speed build, and I'll give you some of my thoughts on the set. But let's go ahead and take a look at the next one, which is this AAT poly bag containing 75 pieces and this little Death Star Trench X-Wing TIE Fighter coin. Definitely make sure you check out one of our last videos with our May the 4th Be With You haul that we picked up from the LEGO Star Wars shopping. But all of these were great promos this year, and what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and start cracking these things open, take a look at them, obviously not the coin, and just kind of see what our thoughts are. But let's go ahead and crack open the Trade Federation Troop Carrier. This one's a little hard to see because it's brown on brown, but this was a really fun set to build. There's a lot of basic system building, nothing too crazy technique-wise, because again, it is based on that original 2001 set, but with some modern pieces to make it a little fancier and easier to build. But I thought it was really fun to build. I love simple builds like this. They need more of these smaller sets that are highly detailed and fun, I think, in LEGO Star Wars and across LEGO in general. But I think this was really fun to put together. It just kind of flew together, putting together the droids was a little repetitive but that's what it is um, but I thought it was great let's take a closer look and here is the Trade Federation troop carrier I realized during the time lapse that the brown and tan wasn't sticking out much against the brown and tan desk here so we grabbed a handy base plate and got it ready to go here for you it has a lot of similarities to the original that came out kind of in 2000 or so there and it has this nice fun sliding feature where you can remove the droids like that just kind of the original feature and you can kind of slide in and out it does show the droids of course they're kind of in the awkward stance but that's really the best way you can do it as far as folding them up like they are in the movie you do get two of these pilot droids which are really cool uh, it does have like an exclusive print on it and they are currently exclusive to the set but I'm sure they will use them again if they ever need to but kind of fun to see. They have like the blue torso, but the silver and little dot is printed on there. Of course, it does come with the 25th anniversary brick, which is kind of fun to have with this set. Um, we did go ahead and build the AAT, which I've got sitting here for you as well. Gonna probably do a short of that, of the actual build. So check that out if you haven't already or coming soon. But just a fun little build, I think 75 pieces, and it looks pretty good. It's a little bigger than I thought it would be, actually. So, um, of course, this can kind of pivot, as you can see. It's on, like, the little sliders, just like the troop carrier, and it kind of adds some nice realistic detail. Plus, having the green base plate here kind of reminds me of the actual scene in the movie, since they're in kind of that green pasture area i guess hey they can store the weapons right there of course you can start your whole army with this if you wanted to of course a lot of folks were complaining that this was not an actual set you can purchase in order to actually army build it um, and have it like a whole bunch of these and such um, and or just have a bunch of droids but droids are pretty cheap and easy to come by so i'm not too uh, i could see what they're saying with something like that but i like this being a gift with purchase because it's a great gift with purchase for May the 4th that came out again with that poly bag and the coin so it just makes it worth picking up those sets in order to get something like this as opposed to some things we've gotten in the past like some of the buildable uh, like smaller figures and such which maybe weren't as exciting as this troop carrier is I think it's an excellent gift with purchase and I'm sure this is going to have a good value in the aftermarket because people are going to want it and or again try an army build with it but I think it looks really good let's look at it from the front here you can see him kind of driving wish they had like either a sticker or printed detail the original had a printed detail there got the little light and everything the AAT swerving around the back and of course the other side is basically the same 
Um, but just a nice looking set. Uh, anyone who's big into Lego Star Wars probably picked this up, but I think it's just a great gift with purchase. So not a lot to say on this one. It's a great set. If you had the opportunity to pick it up, I'm glad they're doing more Phantom Menace stuff. 25 years of Lego Star Wars, 25 years of Episode 1, The Phantom Menace. Uh, excited to hopefully see a few more things trickle out this year would be fun. Um, but I think that will do it for today. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you do hit the like button as it helps us out. Comment down below what you think of this set. Was it worth it being a gift with purchase or should it have been an individual set on its own? But until next time, thanks for coming by Old Mountain Bricks today. Have a good one.